evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Come to see me? I'm looking for Rosenthal, but I haven't found him yet. He's in the lobby. Watch out, he'll take all your money. Don't worry, we're closing a deal tonight. Ciao. brought the money, including a month's interest. It's all there. What did you do? Rob a bank? I want to bet. You're lucky. Here's your ring back, just as we agreed. But why old Harry? I have to leave town for a while. I wouldn't want you to get any wrong ideas. Have a good trip. I will, thanks. Why'd you have to go see that bloodsucker tonight? Come on, hurry up. I don't want to be seen with you. Where are the papers? You brought them, didn't you? I left them in a safe place. Don't worry. But first, I want the money. Well, let's go get him. First drive to the park. Then I'll tell you where to go. This is the right place. First door on the left. Rosaria! You lousy bitch! This was fired from a nine-caliber Luger. Hmm. 
He also took quite a beating. Yeah. Why do they bother? Mr. Delo. Yes? Take a look over here. Hmm. Could have been left on purpose. You never know. Well, someone's just murdered a man. He's not going to come back to get 600 lira. Mr. Delo, will you sign this, please? Ah, I noticed some tire prints over there. You'd better check them. Take Pastor Cass with them, will you? Oh, and you might try the vice squad. You know, this area is full of prostitutes. There could have been a witness around. Well, hookers aren't very talkative. Naturally, the first thing we have to do is identify the victim. You can do that. Yes, I know. Let's go. We've established the victim's identity as Enrico Gagliardi, journalist. Now, consider several other important points. Notably, the scene of the murder, the indications of a violent struggle, and the fact that on the very day of the crime, Gagliardi received an advance on a salary. A million lira, that's quite a sum. You might choose to dismiss robbery as a motive, but the fact remains that the money was not found on the body. No one here is trying to ignore the likelihood of theft, Commissioner. But the press has chosen to. That much is certain. Their reaction is what I was afraid of. Murder by mafia. Oh, no. The mafia wouldn't have done this. You may be right, I know. You have been, often. But until you do know, they'll continue to say it. I quite agree. But the press is no worse than public opinion, as you well know. And just to remind us that Rome is still there, the minister's secretary spoke of some nasty insinuations in Parliament today. Naturally, the communists. I received a cable from the minister himself, asking for a rapid and thorough investigation. And so? It seems painfully clear. Our victim was a journalist. So if the facts are presented in the usual way, the supposition is that we're floundering or hiding the truth. But suppose it happens that robbery is the only motive to go with the facts. We need assurance, Mr. Rester. I must tell you, the theory that he was murdered for money doesn't convince anyone. Not even me. The district attorney has said it in a nutshell, as usual. But on the basis of what we've seen, to look in that direction is logical. True, but where has it led? You're much too prepared to ignore other possibilities. All the newspapers accuse us of that. A reporter was murdered, not a truck driver. It doesn't happen often. It's a coincidence, perhaps, but the public thinks we're hiding something. We've agreed, I hope, that a rather quick decision is necessary. It is all a question of time. I think we all agree. In general, yes. In only two days, nobody could have done more. And take four or five days. Come up with that killer. It doesn't matter who gets stepped on. Look, Dallo, understand that nobody, nor his friends, including the Mafia, can intimidate me. I'd put the Pope in jail if he stole a Bible. Allow me to say that I have great faith and Mr. Resta. He's a very capable man. Resta's not to blame. Who's to blame is unimportant, really. It's very difficult, if not impossible, to be objective about every assignment. For this case, we need results above all other considerations. But all this is pointless, really. The thing to do is to hand the case to another man, and I resign. You mustn't think we don't appreciate your work, but uh, I've talked it over with Judge Dallo, and I think we have the person you need, if the Chief of Police agrees, naturently. He's ex-flying squad and rather difficult. You wouldn't be thinking of uh, Michele, would you? Are you forgetting all the trouble he's caused us in the past? On this case, we'll be criticized whatever we do. I'm convinced that Michele is the most qualified person for this. Above all, because he's fearless and ruthlessly impartial. But isn't every one of you aware that Michele was thrown out of the squad for beating and breaking the bones of a prisoner or two? Many policemen would do the same. Not like Michele. I wish to hear at this point the commissioner express his opinion. Frankly, uh, the idea of having Michele on my hands uh, doesn't exactly appeal to me, but if that's what you want. Hey, Luca. There's a radio call for you from the station. The chief wants to talk to you right away. But Francesco, I'm on duty. Responsible for everybody's safety and behavior on the beat. But they said it was urgent. All right. We got all the time in the world. Come on, I'll buy you a cup of coffee. Okay.
Is the chief in? He wants to see me. The chief? Yeah, the big man himself. Says me, Chaley. Hey, friend, you missed a lot while you were out on vacation. Yeah, like the Mancusa case, the one they let you handle. But that's not finished yet. I heard you close it brilliantly in the fires. Fired and forgotten. But of course, with the mess you managed to create, there's no chance to prove anything. No, I don't think there is. At least there's not much of a chance with you handling it. Do me a favor, will you? Drop dead. Anything to oblige. Michele, the chief will see you right away. Thanks. Yes, Mr. Minister. Commissioner, I have an assignment for you. An assignment which involves a great deal of trust and responsibility. I thought of you, but only after careful consideration due to your regretful behavior in the past, which hasn't been so very exemplary. So I rough somebody up a bit. They all do it, Chief. Only I happened to pick the wrong person. Michele, you mean to tell me... That... Only this, that we can beat the shit out of petty crooks and get promoted. But when it comes to criminals that count... Commissioner, I sent for you because I have confidence in you. Don't disappoint me. It's that reporter that was killed day before yesterday. I'm giving the case to you because I am convinced that you 